It looks like a pedal boat. But this wooden box is in fact a mobile hydroelectric power station. When installed in flowing water, it'll generate cost-effective and environmentally friendly electricity. It can be located with the help of GPS, which can also help calculate the river's water levels. This is a hydroelectric power plant. We call this 21st century technology. You can supply rural areas with telecommunications and electricity and issue flood warnings thanks to built-in sensors. The entire system is satellite-based in collaboration with the European Space Agency and we're very proud of it. The students at the University of Darmstadt founded a company, E-Ray, to develop the mini mobile hydroelectric power plants. They're designed to be used in places that are off-grid, for example, rural regions of Africa or South America. We want to connect people to the rest of the world and improve their prospects. Mobile phones can help people become better educated and help them read. But for that, you need reception. Today is a milestone for the young company. They're unveiling the prototype of their design at the European Space Operations Center in Darmstadt. ESOC is part of ESA, the European Space Agency. It's been involved in almost 80 satellite launches over the past 50 years. Satellites used for telecommunications, weather, Earth observation and navigation. ESOC also controls the satellites and analyzes the data they collect. Outer space rarely feels as near as it does here. These days, a number of startups are developing products that use aerospace or satellite navigation technology. ESA supports these fledgling entrepreneurs with seed capital, know how, and networking opportunities. They get to present their ideas at founders' fairs. The goal is to help transfer space technology to other industries. Space technology has become part of our everyday lives. Whenever we use an intelligent travel app, for example, we're using GPS and these days the Galileo satellite navigation system too. We might not really be aware of it happening, but it's very exciting and will be of huge benefit to us in the digital world. Take this navigation belt. It uses GPS and has a built-in compass function. Its vibration steers the user in the right direction. This navigation belt has 16 inbuilt vibration elements. They vibrate around your middle, signaling which direction you should go. So you literally follow your gut feeling. If it vibrates on your front, you walk straight ahead. When you reach an intersection, you're told which way to turn. Users just have to type their destination into their smartphone. It's a really useful tool if you're on a hiking or cycling trip. It also has benefits for people who are visually impaired. And it's quite a hit with visitors at this Founders' Fair. The E-Ray founders hope their river turbines will be equally popular.